Welcome to SPC Insights with Dr. Bill. This video takes a look at seven simple quality tools that you can use to solve most of the problems you face. Life has gotten much more complex and so has process improvement. The question says, what method do you decide to use? There are so many, Six Sigma, Lean, Kaizen, and what about all the statistical tools? Some are easy, some are very complex. Use control charts, distribution fitting, hypothesis testing. Just how do we make life more simple? Well, here's where Dr. Ishikawa comes in. He was the father of quality circles. He wrote over 600 articles and 31 books. He was also editor of the Guide to Quality Control. And in this guide, he introduced the seven basic quality tools. And we're going to look at those in this video. And with these, Dr. Ishikawa said you can solve 90% of the problems in the factory with these simple tools. Dr. Ishikawa believed everybody should be involved in quality improvement and trained in those seven quality tools. Dr. Joseph Duran said this about Dr. Ishikawa. There is so much to be learned by studying Dr. Ishikawa. He was dedicated to serving society rather than serving himself. His manner was modest, and this elicited the cooperation of others. So, here we're going to look at the seven quality tools. What are those? Those are the histogram, cause and effect diagram, check sheets, Pareto diagrams, graphs, control charts, and then finally scatter diagrams. So we're going to start with histograms. What a histogram does is it shows the frequency of measurements over a time period. And it's going to tell you four major things about your process. What a value occurs most frequently. How much variation is there in the process. It's going to tell you the relationship of the variation to the specifications. And if you have anything that's out of spec. And it's also going to take you tell you the shape of the variation. Is it bell shaped or is it skewed? Here's an example of a histogram metal box thickness. The thickness is on the x-axis. The frequency is on the y-axis. It looks bell-shaped. And you can see there are some data above the specification, meaning you have some things that are out of spec. The next quality tool is the cause and effect diagrams. Because you have variation, as shown in the histogram, why does the data have variation? And the cause and effect diagram helps you figure this out. You start by writing the problem or the goal in the head of the fishbone. It's also called a fishbone. You select the major categories, methods, materials, measurements, machines, environment, and people. And then you brainstorm reasons onto the diagram. And it begins to look really like a fishbone. That's why it's called a fishbone diagram also. Here's an example of one from the book. It's wobbled during machine rotation from uh, Ish Dr. Ishikawa's Guide to Quality Control. It's answering the question, why does wobble occur? And you look for the most likely causes of that. From here, we move to check sheets as the next simple tool. And it's a way to manually collect data. And here's an example of where we've been collecting data over time on reasons for defects. You have the type of defects like surface scars and cracks. You see how often they occur by placing a little tick mark. And then you subtotal them and you get 86. Nowadays, most of this data tracking is done automatically. But this is a check sheet that can be used to help collect data on reasons for defects. And a Pareto diagram that can be used. It's based on the 80-20 principle. It's helped us decide to, what to work on first. And the item with the most defects is listed first. As you can see, caulking is the one down here. And they're listed in descending order. So since caulking is the one that's the biggest, it needs to be addressed first. And then he talked about graphs as another simple tool. He had three questions he asked about graphs. What's the purpose of the chart? How is the chart used? And how can it be made more useful? He talked about types of shifts, run charts, and pie charts. Also stratification like this one where you're looking for a pattern between A and B. And it appears you can see group A, the blue, has more production than group B in the orange. He also included control charts. And Dr. Ishikawa said this about a control chart. The purpose of a control chart is to determine whether each of the points on the graph is normal or abnormal. And to do that, you plot the data, calculate an average, calculate the control limits and add those. And as long as there are no points beyond the limits or patterns, then each 
point is normal. You don't have any out of control points. So here's an example of an X bar in our chart. Overall average on this X bar chart is 12.94. You plot the data, you have the control limits, and you can see it's in control. You also have the range chart. And here you have the average range is 1.35. And again, nothing's beyond the limits. Everything's in control. The last tool was a scatter diagram. And it's a cause and effective relationship. What you're doing is you're plotting two variables against each other to see if there's a correlation. So in this example from his book, he has severed length versus conveyor speed. And when the speed was 8.1, the length was 1,046. And you can see a scatter diagram is a positive correlation and severed length tends to increase as conveyor speed increases. So in summary, what we've done is we've quickly introduced the seven simple basic quality tools. Histograms for variation, cause and effect for reason for that variation, check sticks to look for uh, reasons for defects, Pareto diagrams to decide what to work on first, graphs and control charts to see the patterns, and then scatter diagrams to look for relationships between two variables. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. For more SPC Insights with Dr. Bill, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, or you can learn more. Visit our SPC Knowledge Base, over 200 publications, and on all those basic tools, you'll find information there, or you can solve your own problems by buying or trying our SPC for Excel software. It simplifies statistical charting and analysis. Thanks again for watching the video.